You do not have to fight this battle. Position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. He is with you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Tomorrow go out and face them. I'm calling for a church that will position themselves. You are out of the position. Stand still in the presence of the Lord. Do not move. I don't know what you are facing in life, but I'm calling for you to position yourself. Position yourself in the ministry. Position yourself in your home. Position yourself in your business. Position yourself as a child of God and stand still. The Bible says, be still for and know that I am God. He is God. I'm calling for you to be still in the presence of the Lord. The book of Isaiah says, do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm calling for people to position themselves. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what may make you stumble, but I need you to position yourself in this season that is coming. In fact, in the season that is already here, we need the church that will position itself. We need the church that will stand still in the presence of the Lord so that they may see the salvation of the Lord. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, you will testify in the land of the living. You shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. How do you see it? You see it by position first yourself and standing still in the presence of the Lord. Hey, 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 you new generation. We need a church that positions itself in the house of the Lord. We need a church that will partner with the vision and position itself for the vision to come to pass. Hallelujah. Position yourself position yourself in the biblical dictionary the word position means abiding in him according to to john 15 verse 7 it means abiding in him and him abiding in you you need to abide in the lord abide in the lord he says i am the vine and you are the branches you 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 cannot be a branch if you're not connected to the vine Hey, am I talking to somebody in the south? You, you, you need to position yourself as the branch to the vine. You don't go alone. You don't go alone. Stand still in the presence of the Lord. What is moving you? Are circumstances moving you? I'm calling you to stand still in the presence of the Lord and see the salvation of the Lord. You, you need to see his salvation. You need to testify about him. Yes, I know you are desperate. Yes, I know, but, but stand still, stand still, stand still, stand still in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Second Chronicles 7 verse 6 says, this was the time when the dedication of the temple was being done. Hallelujah. And, 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 and the Bible says, when Solomon sacrificed those 222,000 sacrifices that he did, the Bible says the priests and the Levites stood in their position that were assigned to them to praise the Lord to give him all the honor to give him all the glory where are you, where are you when we need you to praise the Lord I know circumstances are pulling you from left, right and center but I'm calling you to stand still in the presence of the Lord and position yourself because the time is coming the time is coming where you will need to go and face them you need to face them with the courage you, you need to position yourself first before you face them hallelujah in the beginning of the scripture that we read before he says you do not have to fight this battle and there is a full stop there he says position yourself why are you going to the battle without positioning yourself what are you going to do there if you did not position yourself? If you did not stand still first in the presence of the Lord? What are you going to do there? Position yourself. Stand still first. Hear from God first. And go face them. 
I'm calling for a church that will position themselves. It is time that you position yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you. Let's stand on our feet in the presence of the Lord. Let us all stand. Come on, somebody, can we bless the Lord? Let's put our hands together and glorify Him.